Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Doberman Life, where we talk about everything about Aries' life and the things we've encountered from playing, feeding, uh, other dogs, any kind of tips and tricks that we can come up with to make sure new Doberman owners are aware of the things that have happened to us or have happened to you before. You can let us know in the comments below. Tonight we'll be going over uh, Aries' nighttime feeding routine. A lot of people have been asking us, you know, what are we feeding her uh, from our last video? Uh, so this is a, about six to eight months later now. And we've given her a completely new uh, food routine, you know, which includes a lot more uh, real proteins, uh, real carbs, fats that uh, we put into her diet. That way we're not constantly buying uh, kibble or wet food that is not really uh, giving her the nutrients that she needs so she can gain the right amount of weight and look as muscular as we really want her to. So stick around for the end of, the, uh, for the end of this video. So we're going to give we're going to give out the full uh, recipe uh, to see how uh, we've been feeding Aries from you know, when she went into puppy food to now where she's eating real foods. So uh, this is gonna be an exciting journey. We're gonna go over her nighttime routine and go over any of those comments. So stick around, we'll see you in the video. Hey guys, so this is the way that I cook Aries' food on a weekly basis. I start off by uh, boiling pots of water. However many you're gonna be needing is up to whatever you're cooking. So uh, for the chicken and the sweet potato, it usually takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Uh, I usually set a timer, set it and forget it. Um, the chicken will come out nice and white and tender like this. You can, uh, you know, tear it apart after cooling down or when it's really hot, it makes it easier, whichever one, whichever one's your preference. The sweet potatoes, same thing. They'll be nice and soft. You can just mash those and they'll be ready to go. Here's the full routine and I'll see you guys in the full video when we're mixing her food. Hey guys, welcome back to Aries' nighttime routine. We're going to be going over everything that we feed Aries nightly. Uh, kind of also the process that that it took to get us here how long it took from the last video we did uh, I'll, I'll link it up here. Uh, we fed all our Dobermans. This is what we, we were feeding them for a long time uh, During that process we've switched over mainly because we figured out that Aries really wasn't eating the the kibbles in comparison to eating the the meats like pro, like uh, chicken or any fish uh, or any kind of sweet potatoes we would put in there So in the beginning we started off with kibble then we moved on to kibble with wet food then we went from wet food to uh, wet food with uh, pr with chicken. And in that process, we saw that the, then the kibble was starting to be left out. So when it was all three, the kibble would get left out and it would just be the, the chicken and the wet food being eaten. I mean, really, who wouldn't do the same? Um, over, the, over the process, we saw that it was better to just invest in boiling mass amounts of chicken and getting into that uh, routine so that way she can be eating uh, more protein, protein dense foods, less wet food, less kibble. So this is the meal that we've came up with to make sure that she's very fit. And uh, I think in comparison, if you were to just put her next to her brothers and sisters, uh, you can tell that Aries is much leaner and her mus muscular structure is much more dense. So this is what I think has happened because of the, the food we feed her. And I'm very excited to see that. So let's go over the nighttime routine. Uh, we're going to start off with sweet potato. This is one of the best things that we feed her. Uh, she loves it. Uh, we boil this you know, once a week, we just throw a big old scoop in there. And that's pretty much it, nothing crazy. For wet food, we like to use Heritage Ranch. We just throw one, one or two of these, uh, just depending, you know, uh, you know how, what, her, what her day looked like. For the most part, you know, all this food is hers, so this is what we go through, a little bit of wet food, uh, just to get those daily nutrition sins. Oh, she realized she's about to get fed. Hello. And then uh, after the wet food, we still throw in some protein, some more protein, just to get make sure she has enough protein. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Sit. Sit. You want to show people your new trick? Good girl. Good sit. Okay. Oh, this is going to be a test right here. Turn. Come here. Turn. Turn. Good turn. Good turn. And we learned that one this week, so that's been a good one. Uh, so we throw, like I said, we we'll throw in some chicken for her to make sure that she has more than enough protein. Uh, we always try to get even a fat in there, so we'll usually throw a, you know, an egg, a whole egg, about once a week minimum, and we feel this gives her all the energy she needs. Make sure her her body is producing properly. So last but not least, this is what we use on a daily basis for her fats. And it's still a great source of protein as well. And that's Greek yogurt. We use plain. We don't use any kind of like uh, vanilla or anything like that. So that's really good for them as well. It's a probiotic, so it helps 
uh, their digestion. I'm assuming, right? I'm not a pet doctor, so don't take it too too literally. Uh, but other than that, I mean, this is her what her meal looks like. And I mean, honestly, who wouldn't want to eat this? This is what I eat: chicken and sweet potatoes. So, you know, she's very excited to eat this daily. We'll give it a good mix, and uh, we'll throw in this second one today, just because today we were filming. And she was such a good girl and she did the turn on camera for everyone to see and honestly guys with chicken she just responds so much better uh she she's much more productive during her trainings you know whenever we're trying to give her her lessons for you know any kind of tricks that we're doing and that's pretty exciting so having a responsive dog and a responsive doberman especially it's always a good uh, sign oh oh Let's show everyone your tricks. Come here. Turn. Turn. Good. Now sit. Now down. Good girl. Who is my angel? Who is my angel? You are an angel. Hey guys. So that was our nighttime routine. I hope you guys liked it. It consisted of chicken, sweet potatoes, Greek, uh, Greek plain yogurt. Uh, fat-free Greek plain yogurt, and um, some wet food from Heritage Ranch. So these are what we're currently using to feed Aries at night. Uh, we've kind of talked about the timeline that it, it took to go there. It took about at least six weeks to make sure she was eating uh, that much uh, food instead of just kibble and uh, wet food. Um, we use wet food still because it's the standard, and you know we feel like that's what most people um, usually feed their dogs, so that's kind of why we, we're still doing it. We're, lo we're slowly trying to turn more into just pure pure food that we, we make and we feed her. So uh, if you guys have any um, you know, opinions or any kind of commentary, make sure you leave it down below. Let us know so that we can be aware and test it out ourselves. So we've had a great time you know, ex uh, exper experimenting with different foods, seeing if Aries likes it, seeing if it's easy for us to cook. We will be showing you guys as well throughout the video. Uh, different ways to cook the, the meals so that way you guys are appropriately spending time cooking food for your dogs and not overcooking for your dogs. So it was a fun one guys. Please let us know anything else you want to see in the comments and we'll be getting back to you shortly. Please like and subscribe. This is Dover in Life and we're out. Wolf.